Hi, this is Lisa Montanaro, and I'd like to speak to you today about engaging in active business planning on an ongoing basis as an amazing and powerful strategy for your business. So basically what happens to most of us is we create a business plan and it's an official formal document and many of us create it when we first start our business and then what happens to it is if you handwrite it, it sits on a shelf or in a notebook and if you do it on your computer, it sits on your computer and it gathers electronic dust because you basically never look at it again. You start working in your business and not as much on it. And that's a great thing in some ways in terms of, you know, focusing on your direct income producing activities. And I get that. But what I want to talk to you about is how engaging in active business planning and creating strategies and systems for your business on an ongoing basis help to keep your business thriving and alive long term <laughs> and uh, you don't have to worry as much about your business basically uh, dwindling out and drying up. So let me tell you a little bit about what I mean about active business planning and then you can use this as sort of a checklist against what you're doing now to make sure that you're engaging in what I call active business planning and not allowing your business to go on sort of passive uh, you know hard drive where you never look at it again. Basically what I want you to think about and it could be very simple I want you to consider taking out either your original business plan or opening up a Word or Pages doc, depending on if you use PC or Mac, and dumping out your all of your activities, tasks, programs, ideas for your business in one place. Then what I'd like you to do is categorize that in some fashion that makes the most sense to you. So I'll give you an idea of what I do. In my business, I use categories based on my different income streams and the ways that I deliver my expertise and services. So coaching, consulting, speaking, and also have a category for writing. I have a category for marketing, for media, and I have a category that I call admin for all the sort of back-end operations things that I want to work on. After you categorize it, then the only way it becomes an active business plan is if you actually do something with it and act on it. So what I want you to do is to take out your calendar and start scheduling in things from your active business plan so that they get done. So an example is, let's say you're working on blogging. You have to calendar in when you're going to blog. I'm actually working on a project right now where I'm bundling my products. So I'm taking all my standalone products and bundling them together into larger, better targeted packages for my clients. And don't worry, before I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna have a big sale. So if you want some of the standalone ones, you won't miss out. But that's a project that I'm working on that's more long term. And so that goes on my active business plan, but I also need to calendar it in to work on it on my actual calendar or it's not going to get done. If you have a team, uh, and especially if your team is virtual, then another task that you may want to do is share your active business plan with your team and ask them to help you with the various projects, hold you accountable, and maybe set up some phone calls or Skype calls so that you can go ahead and work with your team on the various projects. And you can see that the theme here is to systematize and strategize so that your business keeps growing and keeps getting better and stronger as opposed to you just sort of running on autopilot and forgetting about all the great programs, products, ideas, and uh, income streams that you actually want to launch and share with your followers, audience, prospects, and ultimately clients. So your task and your coaching challenge is to create your active business plan this month. And if you'd like to share it with me, you can go ahead and email it to me at lisa at lmorganizingsolutions.com or you can go ahead and leave a comment on my blog, which is www.decidetobeorganized.com. And I look forward to seeing your active business plan that will not collect creative, uh, pardon me, electronic dust anymore on your computer. Okay, so go to it. Take care. Thanks.